This is a red trap. I caught a red this morning. Of course, it's no longer here. What do you do with the red? Kill it, of course. Okay. This dirty little red has been in our house for, for the past four to five days. And reds are a nuisance, isn't it? We set a trap for it last few days, but only managed to catch it like last night. It's a nuisance because it hides in the nooks and corners of the house and uh, eating food. And you can see their droppings. And every morning we have to wipe them. How did the red come into the house? Well, red comes in through um, openings in the house small little hole or gaps and sometimes once I think it went came in through the drainage thinking about the red I am also thinking about the story of our spiritual life reds are dirty reds will cause a nightmare and become a nuisance in our life I'm talking about spiritual rats they come into our life and they come and steal from us and they have a lot of droppings in our life how did they come into our life through the gate for us our eye gate our eye gate if you have been watching and seeing things that are unclean unholy unpleasant before God you open up your eye gate for spiritual reds to come in the ear gate if you are one who love to hear gossips and dwell among people who tell all kinds of stories and are very negative in their words this gate can destroy you it can make you very negative it can cause you to think negatively and to believe some of the gossips that you hear. Another gate is the mind gate. If you don't shut it properly, your mind will start to wonder. You will think negatively. You will think impurely. A lot of horrible thoughts and causes you to have fear, causes you to have sleepless nights because this mind gate is not properly shut. Another gate that can come into our life is the heart gate. The heart gate where people are not strong emotionally, the heart gate can be a channel where you can get jealous easily you get offended easily when people say when people say something that meant not offensive but you take offense you get angry or you harbor lust in your heart or emotionally you are not stable you just go up and down up and down so just like the rat the spiritual rat Sometimes it could be demonic, dirty spirits that can enter into our life. What does the rat do when it comes in? It will eat your food. It will eat some packages that you may have and contaminate your food. Similarly, spiritual rats, if you allow it to enter your life, it will begin to eat up nutrients spiritual nutrients in your life for example you may be reading the word of God diligently but you don't seem to grow it doesn't change you it doesn't deliver you it doesn't make any good for you you don't grow you wonder why because each time you read the word of God those spiritual dirty reds eat them away in your life 
Or you may be very faithful to church. Sometimes you try to be prayerful as well. You go to church time and time and time again. But again and again, you live a life that is defeated. You, your life seems to be in a cycle. Whatever the church or God or you try to store the spiritual nutrients in your life, it does not help at all. It doesn't cost you to grow because there is a dirty little rat eating them away. Besides the entering of the rat into the gapping holes in your life and eating away nutrients, there's another nuisance that the rat does. You know what it does? It leaves behind droppings. In this part of the world, we call it shit. No, it's not a vulgar word. Hmm? Maybe a dirty word. Shit is dirty, really, right? It leaves its droppings all over your house. You see them at corners. Um, not really that smelly, but dirty. Sometimes a little bit smelly. So guess what this dirty little spiritual rat does to your life? It dirties you, it makes you smell. So instead of producing fruits in your life, you produce a foul smell. People look at you, you are contagious. Maybe you have jealousy or you become gossipy or you become self-centered. You become, can become conceited and Everywhere you go, people smell you as being very smelly and somebody who does not bear fruit at all. How do you stop this from happening in your life? Guard your gates. Guard your eye. Look at only things that edify you, that build you, that make you stronger. Guard your ear. Only hear and listen to things that are pleasant. Guard your mind. Your mind is very important. Think only about good things. Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, Whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So meditate on good things. Guard your mind. Have a mind of Christ, as the scriptures say. Another thing is your heart. Guard your heart. Don't be too sensitive. Don't be offended easily. Love God. You know, to be of sensitive and offended easily is self-centeredness. Die in Christ. For Galatians 2.20 says, It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live, I live by faith through the Son of God who died for me. So you need to be set free spiritually. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Some of you, if you find it hard to get rid of that dirty little rat, maybe you need specific help. And if you do, be quick and be specific to approach your leaders or even some of the pastors for counseling, for help so that we can pray with you and help you be set free from those dirty rats that come. I want to pray with you right now if you will bow your heads and close your eyes and we will pray. Father, I pray for many people who are watching here Many who may be dealing with the dirty little rats 
that comes in, in and out of their life, running around their heart and their mind and their spiritual life, creating havoc, eating up all the nutrients and leaving behind terrible droppings. I pray, God, that you will set them free and set us all free in the mighty name of Jesus, that we can identify these rats in our life and be set free one at a time in the mighty name of Jesus. You can do it, Lord, for each and every one of us. I pray this in Jesus' precious name. Oh, wait, I see a very big rat in my house right now. And this rat has been plundering my fridge. I want to catch her.